Thanks for joining me on this Saturday. I'm meteorologist Brian Shields, and thank you for taking the time to subscribe. A lot of new subscribers, and I do appreciate that, especially over the last uh, few days. Now, we're watching this spot near the Cayman Islands over toward Cuba and eventually lifting up toward the Gulf of Mexico. There is development possible later in the upcoming week in the Gulf. Nothing crazy as of now, just watching an area that could eventually spin up. So I want to get into that. Plus, we're watching out here several tropical waves coming off the coast of Africa that are moving in, and we're seeing some rain and storm around near Trinidad and Tobago today. So we're going to see a surge of moisture go uh, move in and we'll go over that in the three day forecast in just a second, plus some super high rain totals. So I want to jump into that. But this right here, see that little spot of purple? Some of the models as a whole are picking up on the chance of some development anywhere from the Bay of Campeche uh, back through the Gulf of Mexico later in the upcoming week and or, or later in the upcoming week or into next week. So nothing that is too alarming as of now, uh, but there are some signs that there could be development. And I want to show you why. First thing is first, the wind shear in the short term. I talk about the wind shear a lot. Those are winds that are kind of hostile in the upper levels of the atmosphere, which is a good thing thing because that helps rip apart developing uh, tropical systems. So wind shear is good as we get into the uh, hurricane season and you see this red shading through here back through Jamaica, Cuba, Cayman Islands, over toward Belize, the Yucatan, parts of Florida, and much of the Bahamas. That's high wind shear for the upcoming week, at least early in the week, the next few days, now and over the next few days. So no development possible the next few days. But what happens is, and this is the European model, by the way, uh, so rather reliable. What happens is as we work our way into the uh, uh, upcoming weekend, so next weekend and into next week, you see there's not as much red here in the Gulf of Mexico, which means there's not as much wind shear. Still higher wind shear as you work your way back anywhere from Florida back through the Bahamas. But the Gulf of Mexico, even parts of the Western Caribbean, the wind shear starts to relax. That means conditions will be more conducive for some development. On top of that, I'm watching the water temperatures. So uh, water temperatures have been very warm. I've been mentioning that. You see some of the numbers, uh, especially over toward uh, parts of Cuba, up toward the Florida Keys, about 30 uh, degrees Celsius or 86 degrees Fahrenheit, even 31. 132 degrees Celsius, so pushing 90 degrees in spots around Florida, uh, Cuba, back through the Cayman Islands near Jamaica and parts of the Bahamas. So super warm water is in place, and not only is it very warm, it's just unusually warm for this time of year. All of this orange shading, which includes the Caribbean, anywhere from Barbados, swinging back toward Mexico and Texas, this orange shading or kind of a, a red shading you're seeing, these are above average water temperatures. So yes, it's very warm, but these water temperatures are more like what we'd get in mid to late July. So the water temperatures are very warm. We know that unusually warm and the wind shear in the uh, upcoming week is going to relax some, which would mean conditions would be a little more conducive for development. So let me take you through the long term and then I'll get back to the short term and some of those very high rain totals. Hang with me. This here is, is as we work our way into today and just kind of going out in time. Let me show you what happens as we work our way forward into the upcoming week. So this is by Tuesday kind of ticking along and you see the moisture that's around. It just continues to build. Moisture will lift up through Cuba. We're going to watch out for flooding in the Cayman Islands over toward Cuba, Bahamas, very active, watching near Florida and still an uptick in some of the rain. We had some scattered showers yesterday in parts of Belize and the Yucatan of Mexico finally, but there's some of the rain that is going to continue to lift up to the north and build. Now what's going to happen is this is out in time and this is the American model, but it's very similar to the European model at this point. So again, they're pretty much uh, locked in at this point showing the same thing. Big area of rain as we work our way into the end of the week. Now, when we get a big area of rain in the Caribbean and the Gulf of Mexico this time of year with water temperatures that are like July with low uh, wind shear, there is the chance that something could spin up. But let me show you what happens. The models then aren't sure what's going to happen because this is way down the road. So as we work our way into late in the upcoming week, as I mentioned, Thursday into Friday, what's going to happen is the models hint at some sort of spin. Both the European and the American model try to show a little bit of a spin, kind of a broad area of low pressure, which means it's not a concentrated area of low pressure, uh, which is telling me it could just be a sloppy uh, storm system, not necessarily a named system, but some sort of a spin in the Gulf of Mexico. Uh, but the American model shows kind of confusion, as does the European model once you get into that upcoming weekend. So this is a week from now. It shows a little spin here while a lot of this energy continues to lift away, kind of splits apart. 
So uh, not sure what's going to happen here, but it is more conducive for development. Models are hinting at a spin. And then this here, bigger tropical waves, anywhere from Grenada, where we need the rain, St. Vincent, the Grenadines, Trinidad and Tobago. A lot of that rain has been just to the south, but that's going to start to lift up a little bit more to the north. So the eastern Caribbean heads up, St. Lucia, Dominica. We're going to see a better chance of rain, Barbados, uh, as we get into uh, next week or closer to the next weekend, sometime in that time frame with these stronger tropical waves gradually lifting up to the north, which is what we see this time of year. Short term scattered rain and storms around over toward parts of Central America. Then you see Trinidad and Tobago, little surge of moisture that's been moving in and heavier rain still waking up to some of that rain uh, earlier this morning in the uh, Cayman Islands. There's going to be flooding around Cayman Islands, parts of Cuba. Here you can see again a lot of this moisture that is just kind of locked in place. And there are some of the scattered showers as we work our way into parts of uh, the southeastern Caribbean near Trinidad and near Grenada, hoping some of this rain squeaks into uh, Grenada. Northeastern Caribbean, we are quieter. Puerto Rico, U.S. British Virgin Islands, Antigua and Barbuda, Anguilla, uh, Montserrat, where we need some of the rain. St. Kitts and Nevis, rain chance stays low, but there is some of the rain. Uh, back right on the edge of Jamaica. I want to show you Jamaica in just a second, but there's still some of the rain. Southern Bahamas, especially Turks and Caicos, back through the uh, Dominican Republic and the Cayman Islands at high chance of rain. Spotty showers as we work our way uh, back toward uh, Belize as that day goes on. And then pulling forward out in time, you see again some of those uh, spotty showers that uh, will be with us. ABC Islands right through here, still on the dry side and very hot. There's some of the rain as we work our way into Monday, and that's that surge of moisture that will be lifting up to the north. North. So you see that higher chance of rain, especially in the northern Caribbean, but more so the northwestern Caribbean back toward Cuba and the Cayman Islands. Bahamas, central and southern Bahamas will have some higher totals the next few days. Jamaica, though, on the edge of it, the heaviest rain, the steadiest rain will be just off toward the west. So I'm going to keep an eye on it. If it just nudges closer, that could give us a flood threat. But as of now, scattered showers and storms So you see the Cayman Islands. That's where it is, and we're going to see some totals just through uh, Monday, uh, upwards of about uh, 150 plus millimeters of rain. We could see over six inches of rain in spots over the next few days, leading to some of that flooding, and that does again include especially western and central areas of Cuba. Getting back toward Belize, just kind of highlighting one of our driest spots over the last few months. Scattered showers and storms. Some spots, not a whole lot, but some spots, if you get a few repeat showers, could get upwards of 100 millimeters of rain or four inches of rain. That would be some good news, even including uh, northern uh, Honduras. But Cuba seeing some heavy rain. Once we get to the eastern end of Cuba, Haiti, Dominican Republic, and you see Jamaica, not as much. Jamaica, though, uh, uh, caution that if this just kind of nudges closer, We'll be seeing that rain chance uh, going up in Trinidad and Tobago. A lot of this would be today uh, scattered to widespread rain and storms will be at least close by and I'm hoping some of this could feed into at least southern sections of St. Vincent and the Grenadines and Grenada throughout the day. Watching some storm systems over toward the US, but it's this surge of moisture that we're going to be watching as we get into the week ahead. Mexico itself, not a lot of rain. Yucatan, we've had some rain. Eastern Pacific, not really seeing much in the way of development. So looking at this surge of moisture, and you can see it stretching near Bermuda, mainly to the south of Bermuda. Bermuda were mainly dry all the way back through Cuba near Jamaica. You see how close we are on that, watching some of those storms uh, in the uh, U.S. And then as we work our way over the next few days, this eventually will build and then eventually we'll lift to the north as we get into the upcoming week. And that's when we'll be watching to see if anything does try to uh, spin up out of that. But you see the rain total is not high at all as we work our way back toward uh, Mexico, uh, even over toward the Baja, Guatemala, El Salvador, Nicaragua. Uh, we'll see scattered rain and storms, higher totals in Costa Rica, not quite as much as we get back toward Panama, uh, parts of Panama. We do need to get some rain. The system's kind of winding down once again, just taking you through the weekend as expected in the Atlantic region of Canada. Scattered rain and storms at times may get some scattered showers for a few hours from gloomy conditions, and then uh, you may catch some breaks, and then you may see some more showers rolling in. So just watching this moisture from the uh, west that will be pulling in this here is as we work our way into Sunday. So again, the caution in Jamaica here is that we're on the edge of the heavier rain. If this moisture just kind of builds back into our direction, that is going to lead to a flood threat. As it stands now, a 40% chance of rain, which is something many of us can handle. But if it gets in any closer, if that moisture builds in, we're going to watch out for that higher chance of flooding. And the flooding is exactly what we're going to be seeing as we get back through the Cayman Islands. Keep me posted in the comments. 
it's Trinidad and Tobago. The rain chance starting to get elevated. Those tropical waves that have been mainly to the south of us are going to start to move in. So scattered showers and storms the next few days as we live to the north. Not quite as much on Monday. We'll see a slightly higher chance as we get toward Barbados. St. Lucia will watch out for a few isolated showers in about a 40 to 50% chance in Grenada. I'm hoping some of the showers south could move in. Same thing for St. Vincent and the uh, Grenadines. We were talking about that before Martinique. The rain chance is not too high passing shower 20 to 30% chance for us in Dominica. We get back toward Guadeloupe. The rain chance about 20% uh, mainly on the dry side. Antigua and Barbuda, Northeastern Caribbean. You see how that rain chance is lower. St. Kitts and Nevis and Montserrat. We need rain, just not a lot. Anguilla and St. Bart's rain chance very limited. Lots of sunshine. And if you're dry this time of year, we are on the hot side. St. Martin, Saba and Stacia. Rain chance stays on the small side and about a 20% chance in Puerto Rico. So that's down from what we had last week. Could still see a few isolated uh, storms in the afternoon and evening with the daytime heating. Uh, British and U.S. Virgin Islands where we had some flooding a few days ago, mainly dry Bahamas, central and southern Bahamas. The better chance of rain and we'll be watching that system getting closer throughout the week. Scattered showers, Turks and Caicos. Isolated shower storm in the Dominican Republic. Rain chance is down. Same thing as we work our way to Haiti, about a 20% chance. 40% chance of scattered showers in Belize the next few days. So at least we're not at 0% like we were last week. Aruba, Curacao, and Bonaire, uh, mainly dry and very hot. Hoping some of that moisture near Trinidad and northern Venezuela starts to get a bit closer. Guyana watching out for the areas of flooding still. Watching out for some areas of heavier rain. Same thing in Suriname. Rain chance down a touch, but still overall on the higher side in Cuba, western and central sections that much higher chance of flooding the next few days. So thank you for getting the word out about that. Costa Rica and Panama, Panama not as much, a little bit more as we work our way back toward Costa Rica, Nicaragua, 40 to 50% chance, 40 to 50% chance of scattered rain and a few storms in Honduras, Guatemala and El Salvador, 40% chance, mainly dry. Mexico City may get a pop up late day storm with that uh, daytime heating. Yucatan and Mexico, better chance, 40% chance 30 to 40 percent chance. Same thing in northern Venezuela and as we work our way into Bermuda and isolated shower, a lot of that moisture has been just to the south. So we're tracking these areas of flooding that are moving in Cayman Islands on the edge of Jamaica and Cuba watching over toward the Bahamas and then lifting up into the, the uh, lifting up to the north and a big surge of moisture lifting up to the north. And that's what I'll be watching throughout the week to see if it does try to spin up because conditions are more conducive for some uh, more development in those tropical waves that will be moving in for the week ahead. So thank you for joining me. Leave those comments. I'll be getting to those throughout the day and I hope you have a good day ahead.